Well, Blair, I really appreciate it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Sometimes the stallion's got to run, man. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I, I sent an email to Veronica Belmont, not to make you feel like you weren't the first choice, but huh. but you weren't. But I, I asked her, and I never heard back from her. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Oh, hang on. I'm sorry. That's me. Hello. Hey, Chris. It's it's Veronica. I'm sorry. I got your note a little bit late, but I would love to host with you today. You know, if you haven't found anyone or anything. Chris. You have a carotid line. Don't you die. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for that. Veronica Belmont. Veronica Belmont. Veronica freaking Belmont. So kind. Uh, so, Chris, I was, I was wondering, I smelled something a little funny. Why is there a dead body behind I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Mainly it's because you're on a tag of the show, and it's, it's dead-ish. Uh, and it's only Blair Herder. Uh, Kevin and Olivia, by the way, are in the city of brotherly love, just in case you were wondering. Ooh, they're probably getting mugged just about now. That's right. uh, we're coming to you live from the G4 studios in Los Angeles. All right, people, on the show today, a man, a guitar, and a violent dance routine. Yeah. India rips off El Mariachi, and we love it. That's on Around the Net. Then we're going to burn through a rapid-fire gadget prom and rate the best new thumb drives on the market. Take your precious work or the stuff you work it to anywhere you go. Classy. We're classy. Yeah, well, that's how we do it on that the OTS. That's okay. how we do it. And then we'll give you bonuses to your charisma in a new thread. So yeah. we'll find out. Hey, Chris. Hey, I killed the guy so you could be here. Sorry. Why did I say that on tape? We'll find out how the name Johnny Cupcakes turned from a joke into a clothing brand. And then one of the living legends of comedy will be here. We're now. Yeah. On the web. We're going around the net. Alright guys, in at number five today is a short but sweet clip from break.com. We're not sure where this biker was going exactly, but we'll know where he ended up. The hospital. Now, wait a minute, hang on, wait, Do you, did anyone see, did, that impact was so powerful that everything, including his clothing, flew off his body and into the air. That's kind of hot. On the plus side, he just broke the North American semi-nude wall faceplant record. Yay! <laughs> we did super. it! Broken spine, we did it! In at number four, a YouTuber 613 Joe Somebody lays down a simple message for the people. Canadians are rappers, too. Who knew? <laughs> Joe Somebody, what, who, y'all know me. 613, 613. Auto Ontario, Auto Ontario. I smoke good weed, bitch. I'm from all Canada. And when I spit, my flow is insane. I be in my mode, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I was feeling it. <laughs> really? No. You know, there, there seems to be a liberal uh, use of profanity in that video. Does Canada know that they're exporting that filth into our country? Uh, don't worry, I'm sure that video has already been seized at customs and burned. Most of it is that guy kind of looked like a terrifying gelfling. Am there I right? he is. <laughs> yeah. He's like, gotta, I'm gonna get you, Skeksis. I gotta reunite this crystal, yo. Word. Word to Ontario. Yo, we're gonna yes. pick up a couple of hot Skeksis. Yeah. And at number three today is a segment from an episode of that Hallmark television children's program. <laughs> Sesame Street? Sesame Street. Yeah. In this clip, Grover is attempting to have a conversation with a toddler about what mowage is. But we think <laughs> mowage is, is a what beautiful... brings us in together today. We think you will all agree, though, that uh, there are some uncomfortable undertones. I have a question for you. What is it? Well, uh, do you know what marriage is? Is when, somebody, when two people get married? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's marriage. What else is it? When they get married, then what do they do when they're married? Kiss. They kiss, yes. What, do, what else when they're married? 
Hug. Hug, that's good. That's good. Anything else? <laughs> Look. That's it? Yep. Sex, Grover, sex. No. Sex. No. Married people have sex for the first few months. Are you happy? Oh, earmuffs. I'm not. I prefer my Muppets talking about, like, cookies and imaginary friends, not so much with the sexual history. Right, right. Uh, unless, of course, it's Just that guitar playing mouth. chick from Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem. Yeah, oh. She's been awesome. Moving on. <laughs> no, wait, Veronica. What happens Stop in marriage, touch. Veronica? Stop touching. No Stop more. Touching. Stop it. No more oral in marriage, Where's Veronica. Okay. Moving on. Today's number two item is a clip from the Indian musical Savaji. Unearthed at the team at something, if everything is awful. Everything so, is awful. Everything is awful. And everything's it's terrible. terrible too. Now, we've seen this guy, the star of Savaji, in another movie on Attack of the Show before. But that time he was leaping off tractors and dispatching his enemies with lightning fast ninja moves. But this time, thankfully, he is mixing it up a bit. Yeah, now he's leaping off of motorcycles and dispatching his enemies with lightning fast dance moves. Jump, 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 jump. Does anyone in Bollywood ever explain why they just start dancing in the movies all the time? Do they have to? And finally, coming in at number one, is the latest sketch from the Chicago-based comedy troupe, Big Dog Eat Child. They're the guys who previously gave the world Jones's big-ass truck rental big and ass storage, truck rental and, and Jones's good-ass barbecue and foot massage. <laughs> Something yeah. tells me this Jones chap is going to make himself another shady business venture. I object. I defer. I find you both guilty of helping people for the ridiculously low price of $99.99. In today's broke-ass society, things are harder, so you need things cheaper. So I came up with Jones, cheap-ass prepaid legal and daycare. We provide you with our top-notch molester-free daycare services. Jones do a good-ass job of watching both mine and my grandbaby. Jones got me this big-ass check. Here's a story about Toby and his baby mama. Hey, Toby, I need my money. I don't have no more money. So please, come on down to Jones, two pass prepaid legal and daycare account. Well, it's a place where you can bring your children and give legal advice. Put your hand against the wall. My legal advice to you is don't have no more children. Good advice. Uh... Pro tip, though, uh, when Jones misplaces your cheap-ass kid, make sure not to hire Jones to sue himself. I would trust him with my children. Would I you think, really? I think that might be a conflict of interest. It actually could be a conflict of interest. To get your daily viral fix and check out all the viral videos we have to offer, please go to the all-new G4TV.com slash around the net. But still ahead, two tech experts come together in the form of Gadget Prawn! <laughs> the glass. I was going to show everyone the glass. Where's the glass? This portion of Attack of the Show is brought to you by the all-new G4TV.com. New, improved, awesome. a new school filmmaker to reinvent some old school filmmaking techniques. Blair Herter met with Wes Anderson and Jason Schwartzman about their new stop motion feature, The Fantastic Mr. Fox. Can a fox be happy without a chicken in his mouth? Not according to The Fantastic Mr. Fox, a children's tale brought to life by Wes Anderson in 621,450 frames of glorious stop-motion animation. My father died at seven and a half. I don't want to live in a hole anymore. 
In this story of a fox in a midlife crisis, George Clooney, Meryl Streep, and Bill Murray get the Anderson makeover animal style. Just by the tree. Okay. Why stop motion? I've always loved stop motion, and in our movies, they're kind of old-fashioned techniques. Something about sort of sensing how it's being done it gives it a sort of magical feeling that I think isn't quite like any other form. I'm asking if he thinks we're in for a hard winter. What attracts me to working with Wes Anderson is that you don't just make the movie, you have an adventure together. Wes had this idea that the actors are all going to live together and we're going to record everything live. And we would all go off on these miniature work vacations and we would interact and act these scenes out like almost like a movie but without cameras. So basically what I got from that is that you found a way to get the studio system to pay for your vacations. No, I, 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 I'm not saying that. If what I think is happening is happening, it better not be. What's a Wes Anderson stop-motion puppet made of? With a stop-motion movie, everything that goes into the shot, you've got to build it. The puppets that we use is a metal skeleton with joints, and they have fur on the outside, but we also use different scales, like the main puppets, like Mr. Fox, is this tall, but then for wider shots, we have some a smaller version, and even one that's like this, that just has wire inside, it moves a bit differently. <laughs> You're a handsome, personable guy, and I mean that in any way that you want to take. I'll take it every way. All right. What? What? Yeah. Wow. You heard me. Go. You play these really insecure characters very well. How? People can relate to f feelings of insecurity or feeling like a lot of people don't understand them. I think those are feelings that a lot of people experience in their adolescence, and those memories and those feelings are very vivid to me. You're the puberty of America. If you want to put it that way. Am I getting better, coach? Well, you're sure as cuss not getting any worse. Really? Mr. Fox, he's got a signature move. This is how I'd introduce myself to the ladies. Yeah. Hey, ladies. Yeah, it's. I, I think it's good. It's not really... It feels like it's pushing the limits of PG. Work on it next yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. I, I think in stop motion would have a different feeling, too. So was, we, we, we would test it. I'm saying this more as, like, existentialism, you know? With his portrait style and signature dysfunctional characters, the master of whimsy serves up another gem for his fans. If you want to see where else the wild things are, check out the fantastic Mr. Fox. If I were a stop-motion animal, I think I'd be a turtle, quietly humping a shoe. I didn't really need to know that, but I can see it. Anyway, time for a rapid-fire gadget prawn. Today we're reviewing the best thumb drives. Um, our first thumb drive... Just had one more. Get one more out. Get As good. I was saying, our right. first thumb drive is the 128 gig Corsair Flash Voyager GT. There you go. Ooh. Look at that. It Racing claims to be stripe. the world's fastest USB thumb drive. Uh, so, is it true? <laughs> Uh, it was the fastest in our testing. Now, it copies data at about 28 megabytes per second, which is, which is pretty snappy. It, it's a little big, so it might take up to two USB ports. If they're right next to each other on your laptop, you can see there in the shot. But I think the size is worth it because it is water resistant and also the casing is shockproof. Overall, I think it is worth the $400 for super fast, wow. resilient, 128 gig thumb drive. And you've got to keep in mind, 128 gigs crammed into that size, $400 is actually not that bad. It's kind of a tank. It is, it is a little bit of a tank, like a rubbery tank, though. You can sort of bounce it around, it 128 there. gigs, $400. Let's so we're going to say a buy. We're going to say a buy on this one if you got the cash. Right. It's a buy. Our second is a 4 gigabyte Iron Key Personal S200. There it is. There well, it this is. one's fancy. Yeah. Iron Key says it's the world's most secure thumb drive because of the cryptographic trip, uh, chip that provides 256-bit encryption. So, how exactly do they implement this security? I would like to tell you that, Veronica Belmont. They've got built-in software, which is insanely easy to use, so it automatically prompts you for the password to unlock it. And put on your awesome belts, it has its own Firefox browser, so you can surf... Yeah. Straight from the drive, no matter where you are. Uh, you can store all your passwords on it. You can remotely disable the drive from their site in case it gets stolen or you lose it because these things get lost easily. Mm -hmm. And it is even water and shockproof uh, to military specs. I mean, you have, to put the, you have to put the cap on. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Oh. 
I hope you didn't have anything too valuable on there. No, 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 no. No, just a bunch of flash porn. But it is expensive. <laughs> this is four gigs for $112. Ooh. Four gigs for 112 bucks. But listen, if security is your big issue, then maybe it's, it's worth it to you. So we're going to say it's a buy, mainly because of the security hook. <laughs> Oh, screw it. I'll leave it in the water. Why not? Proof of concept. That's right. Our third uh, thumb drive works with USB and external SATA. It's the 64-bit Kangaroo E-Flash. There it is. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't. We didn't. We didn't know if it was Kangaroo or, or Kangaroo. kangaroo. Yeah. But there is a little. It, kangaroo sounds like a Japanese kangaroo monster. Kangaroo. <laughs> kangaroo. A lot of laptops have an eSATA port because it's about five times faster than normal USB. Um, but it is common enough to make it, you know, to have to pay the extra for the eSATA on here. We think it is. Listen, eSATA, the transfer rates are ridiculous, like three gigs a second. So if you remember, if you remember just a minute earlier when I said Corsair was 28 megs a second, you can see what an alarming jump in speed that is. Not to mention, it's also just as fast as the Corsair through the USB. Ah. Again, a little pricey, 64 gig thumb drive, but the speed and eSATA port make it worth the $180 you will spend on it. So we're going to say a buy on this one, too. I just get these things free at, at conferences. Well, and everyone can go to a conference, them. Veronica well, Belmont. I'm kind of fancy like you that. You are very fancy. Our fourth is another 128 gig drive, the Kingston Data Traveler. Pachow! <laughs> Yep, complete with sound effects. Yes, this one is one of the smallest high-capacity drives we've ever seen, but it can copy files just as fast as the Corsair from earlier, can it? It's it's close. It's really Ooh, it's close. Like uh, it's Those are a little behind in speed. It is half as large as the Voyager, uh, which you can see. Actually, you can hold up the sizes there. Oh, hey, look at this big old redneck right here. And then, oh, I'm a little tiny guy. It is also $35 cheaper at $365, making it actually one of the most affordable 128 gig drives you can buy. I mean, you know, you keep in mind, all these things, all these prices will come down in like six months or a year. I know, flash, flash prices go down they, really they, fast. They drop pretty quickly. But overall, this is a great choice if you need the highest capacity. Yes, and our final drive is another one from Corsair, the 32 gigabyte flash survivor. Is this, I thought this was the Genesis device. Uh, <laughs> you sure? It's a tiny little time capsule, actually. It looks like it, yeah. Yeah, it's water resistant up to 200 meters. It's shockproof. A there it is. Yeah, shock there. proof. Go Shocking. ahead and hit it. Who cares? It's the, also the cheapest in our rapid fire, uh, so, it can, so it can live up to the claims that it makes. I mean, those are pretty pretty intense claims. I don't know, Veronica. Ah! Whoops, what have I done? Oh, 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 don't worry, though. It's just whoops, I tripped. Ah! Uh oh, well, now that's got to be ruined. Wait, that wasn't the waterproof one. No, it's not yes, ruined. Yes, it is. I'm just kidding. No, it totally is. Did we just turn into an infomercial? <laughs> that's right, Veronica Belmont. You can get the Flash Survivor, the most rugged drive we've used, and it's incredibly stable. Veronica, we put it through different testings. Uh, we dropped through Dunk It, and it came through with flying colors. That's although good. I dropped the character halfway through. I'm bad like that. Uh, it also, by the way, did have the slowest data transfers in our rapid fire, but it's only 80 bucks, and it's 32 gigs, and Cheap. indestructible, and it looks it looks awesome. So It does uh, look pretty awesome. There you go. That's like another buy. I'm going to go with another buy. It's kind of like a lightsaber. It is a little bit of a lightsaber without the awesome light uh, shooting at the end. Well, that's it for today's Gadget Prawn. But if you have a gadget you would like to see us rate, let us know by sending a note to gadgetprawn at g4tv.com. Indeed. Yeah, so stay tuned. All We're right. We're about to meet Johnny Cupcakes in a new edition of Threads. Yeah! Plus, things are going to get curlier up in this yeah! business when Weird Al is live in studio. Do not go away. We'll be right back. Yeah. Here's a question for you. Would you sacrifice one of your fingers if you never had to pay for a movie ticket, Blu-ray, or DVD ever again? You logged on to G4TV.com and told us what you thought. We'll have those results right after the break. And about 46% of you said you would sacrifice a finger if it meant you'd never have to pay for a movie for the rest of your life. I mean, who needs two pinkies anyway, right? Log on to the all-new G4TV.com for more questions like this and tell us just how far you go. Welcome back, everyone. Normally, I'm a snarky jerk on this channel, but I would sincerely like to say Happy Veterans Day, everybody. Yay! Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Oh, hey. <laughs> Happy you can make it, Veronica. You look awful. <laughs> Start the feed. <laughs> Start the feed.
Here is your top story today. A new release date and fresh details about Microsoft's top secret project Natal were leaked today by website MCV UK. Sure, you already knew that this camera accessory for the Xbox 360 is Microsoft's answer to the Wii Motion Control gameplay, but today an anonymous source said that 14 games utilizing the motion sensing camera are expected to be available for sale when Project Natal arrives in November of 2010. They also disclosed that Natal will be relatively inexpensive, selling between $50 and $80. You should expect to see gamers like me flailing on our TVs by Thanksgiving of next year <laughs> if this is healed. Oh, oh. <laughs> There's some of those injuries on web soup. We started calling that the douchebag ass guy. <laughs> <laughs> If you own a Zoom HD, today is a good day for you. It's turning into an iPod. I'm just joking. It's not, it's not turning into an iPod. The latest firmware update version 4.3 has finally been released, enabling 3D gaming on the device. This update also takes advantage of the Zoom's multi-touch OLED screen and built-in accelerometer. Version 4.3 unlocks a ton of new games, including Audio Surf Tilt, Project Gotham Race and Ferrari Edition, and Van Skate Pool Service. That sounds like a winner. All games are available for free in the Zoom marketplace on a Saturn note, though, the update does not include the much-anticipated and desired Facebook and Twitter applications, which Zune developers hope to release in the near future. And finally, football fans have a new reason to pick up the Palm Pre. It seems the NFL Network has just signed a deal to make Sprint the exclusive carrier of live NFL Network games. Starting this Thursday, pre-owners can watch live games on their phones using either Sprint TV or the NFL Mobile Live app. Both options are free to Sprint customers with a data plan, and that is great news since normally you'd have to pay for a pricey DirecTV cable package to see those games. And what idiot did that? <laughs> well, that's all for today. I am Blair Herter. You have just been fed. Back to Veronica. I wish you weren't here. And my super good, good friend, Chris Hard Trader. Yeah. Oh, hey, your, ne your, your neck seems fine enough to sulk over there, you giant baby. That's not sulking. <laughs> You're right. He's just, he's just yeah, jealous. Maybe. Yeah, he is a big baby. like I had something to do with that. Eric, you've just been fed. That's what you sound like. <laughs> uh, it's time now for another thing we found on the internet that was interesting. Today we present you with the odd Dutch cartoon we located on the YouTubes called Overslappen. Now, we're not sure what's being said or who's being overslappened, but uh, it's, either, it's either some kind of German beach Santa or there's a dolphin involved in some way. Ah! Ah! Oh, Dutch! Hard! I, I don't know what was being said, but it was utterly charming. It was totally charming. Yeah. Oh, Dutch Santa, I don't understand you or your horrible sounding language at all. Because you're tight. Wait, no, they I think German. that might be German. Oh. Ah, oh. eh, whatever, white people. We're all the same. We're all the same. Hey, you know what I would like to talk about? Uh, I might have a guess. Could it be, oh, uh, women of the web? Women of the web, correct. G4 search for the next woman of the web has officially begun. Go to g4tv.com slash WOTW contest to review and rate all of our hopefuls. The girl with the highest rating will be flown out to L.A. for the show and to star in her own sexy photo shoot. With Blair Herder. It's time now to look at some new threads. It's, it's kind of like Gadgetron for your body. And today we are looking at an independent t-shirt company called Johnny Cupcakes. Not to be confused with Gay Vito's lover from The Sopranos. Right. <laughs> If you're tired of those boring t-shirts in your closet, maybe Johnny Cupcakes has the threads you're looking for. Back in 2000, college dropout Johnny Earl was in a small band, living with his parents, and working at a record store in Boston, Massachusetts. As a joke, he decided to screen print t-shirts that said Johnny Cupcakes, the nickname given to him by his co-workers, and sell them to friends. The shirt became an overnight sensation. Pretty soon, Johnny was designing shirts featuring his iconic cupcake logo and selling them on the road with his band. As the shirts reached an underground popularity across the nation, Johnny wanted to keep them exclusive and out of the chain stores. So, in 2005, 
he opened the very first Johnny Cupcake store on Boston's Newberry Street. Today, this college dropout has become a multi-millionaire and, ironically, gives lectures on branding at fashion universities. With two stores in Boston and one in Los Angeles, Johnny Cupcakes has expanded to a full clothing line for both men and women based on famous pop culture icons with a touch of cupcake sweetness. You'll find limited edition shirts ranging from $30 to $50, including these Ghostbusters and Pee Wee's Big Adventure homage tees, a few of Johnny's favorite 80s flicks. The new fall lineup includes football and Thanksgiving tees and shirts featuring the Johnny Cupcakes Big Kid for $36. Also, don't miss these special edition Looney Tunes collaboration shirts featuring Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck for $40. You can order the clothes online, but you'll get the full customer service treatment if you happen to shop at one of their stores. Not only will they wrap your purchase in a pastry box for you, but they just might throw in a cupcake for free. So if you're looking for cool, independent shirts with East Coast attitude, maybe you should upgrade your threads with the help of Johnny Cupcakes. All right, hang on. If you thought that was awesome, Veronica Belmont, and you person out there, just in time for the holiday season, Johnny Cupcakes also sent us an exclusive first look at their Christmas shirts featuring their big kid dressed up as Good Santa and as Bad Santa. Yeah. The shades and the black pants. That's awesome. The shirts will be available on Black Friday, but you can go to johnnycupcakes.com for more info. Why not? Yeah, stay tuned. All right. Uh, things are about to get a little bit strange and weird. Weird Al's in studio right after the break! Weird Al, here! Threads is brought to you by KFC. Taste the unsidelined side of KFC. any kind of introduction to you, you must be some kind of corpse, but uh, we're going to give him one anyway. His greatest hit CD just arrived in stores, and he is here, right here, making fat cool. Guess who it is? Eat it, eat it. Open up your mouth and feed it. Have some more yogurt, have some more spam. It doesn't matter if it's fresh or canned. It doesn't matter what you have for lunch. Just eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. <laughs> it's Weird Al Yankovic, everybody. Yeah! I'm so, they told me that we're going to play Fats. And it's it crazy. It's like a mix-up occurred. It was some kind of crazy that live television spooky. mix up. I, I Here's Al being white and nerdy. I know. Here's Al. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! What? Still works. You know, uh, my, you had my, my buddy Mike Furman over to your house I, once. And what's awesome about Al is that he has a segue and he makes you do a lap on the yes. house. On it. That's, that, that's how you're officially welcome to my you're house. You have to do the lap on the segue. Around, but what, I, what we didn't tell you is when you were out of the room, Mike and I touched your Eat It Grammy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's out of the room quick. <laughs> Can we touch your Eat It Grammy? Uh, I'll have to wipe that off now. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's a little pure Al to get that yes. up. But, um, uh, Al, let's talk about uh, your album. You just okay. released the essential Weird Al Yankovic. Uh, oh, no. oh, please, please shut down. Please. Please. Oh, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> you don't seem that embarrassed. You seem all right. Never. <laughs> the Greatest Hits album uh, is literally a compilation from the 12 albums that you have released. That's, that's insane. And I know for a long time you didn't want to release a Greatest Hits, so what, what changed your mind? How dare you! Oh, um, oh. I, uh... <laughs> no, I, I hadn't released uh, any kind of compilation for about 15 years. And, uh -huh. You know, back, back in the old day, back when it was my old label, you know, they'd have a bad quarter, like, oh, we need some money. Let's put out songs that Al did that begin with the letter R. You know, just any kind of, like, weird compilation. They put it out there, and I was like, oh, and I kind of, it was it kind of got to be a gut reaction that I didn't want to do compilation albums. But, you know, it's been a while, and I thought, you know, it's time for that career retrospective. So we have the essential Weird Al Yankovic. But you are by no means done. I mean, you are continuing. No, I'm, I'm pretty much done. Oh, this is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> has, has the world of... I'm tired, Chris. Oh, my God, Al. Somebody get this guy a pillow. Yeah. Um, has, has it changed? I mean, obviously, you recorded your initial stuff in a bathroom at, uh, was wow. it uh, Caltech? 
Cal Poly, Cal Poly in San Luis. The California Louis. Polytechnic State University of San Luis Obispo. Don't wow. forget that. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, how has it changed since then? Now hey. I have big bathrooms. The bathrooms are huge. <laughs> really enormous bathrooms. Yeah, the, the, you know, it's, yeah, absolutely. The 24 track bathrooms, digital. Because you're the guy. Like, there's no, if anyone else is like, I want to do sound parodies, they're like, shut up, Weird Al does that. You know what I mean? Like, you're the guy. I got the job. I got the job, you know? I what mean, can I say? Didn't. Am I remembering this really? Didn't didn't someone like VH1 approach you and say, we want you to help us search for the next Weird Al? And you're like, why would I do that? I'm the next Weird Al. <laughs> <Yeah>, exactly. <laughs> you're continuing to put out uh, Yeah, stuff. I, I, I've turned on so many reality. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the reality shows. And like everybody that approaches me, it's the same concept. Like, you could be like in charge of this group of people writing song parodies and blah, blah. And no, I don't think so. I don't think anything <laughs> like that's going to happen. Not so much. Not so much. So how has the, you know, how, how have, have you felt the internet has changed uh, what you do? I know you released a bunch of uh, stuff over the summer. Yes. Well, you know, it just gives me the opportunity to put out stuff in a more timely manner. I mean, uh, manner. If if, uh, if a, a song is big on the charts, I don't have to wait until I have a whole album's worth of material. I can put it out right now. Right, right, like right. Last, last October, uh, I did a, a, a TI parody, and I was able to get the parody uh, on iTunes the same week that uh, uh, TI was number one on the charts. So it's, oh, it's, it's nice to have that kind of timeliness. That's really great. And 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 I, I mean, so. I know you put the word out to a few uh, artists online, a few, few designers. I mean, you went to Jim Jab, and you went to this, a mutual friend of ours, Divya, uh, and they made these videos for you for yeah. n not a lot of money, not like the old days video money. And how do you how do you feel like the product was? Because I I thought they were stunning. Oh, thank you. I, I think they're great. You know, uh, we're trying to learn ways to uh, work with a new economy and the fact that the record industry uh, <laughs> is, is not doing great. What? Not so much. But I mean, you know, we're not dealing with rap budgets of ten years ago. We're not. We don't have the puff daddy money to be throwing around. Right. So every, everybody's looking for that next OK Go kind of concept where you can do like really cool stuff. Hey, that's for my not face. Hey, hey, I didn't know you were my video. I'm in the CNN video. Apparently. This is crazy. No, that's it from now on. Oh. Uh, you have this amazing cool factor that, like... Thanks for noticing. No, well... <laughs> I know, like, a friend of mine saw you at, like, you came out during a Ben Folds show, and uh -huh. I know I always try to force you to do stuff like stuff I'm working <laughs> on, and, and, and the UCB theaters, like, a human giant, all these guys. I mean, like, we grew up... Uh, we adore you. Oh, stop and so now. now you are... Stop now. It's like... Oh, I think I literally think your career. You you will you will be. How, will you be making songs just as, as long as you can stand? And as long talk? as you want me to, Chris. Forever. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, All right. right. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. Thank you. Come here. Okay. Let, now, Al, we're going to hug this out right now. <laughs> we got a taste of your upcoming album just uh, uh, from the Internet Leaks release. Have you determined what other artists or uh, topics you might? Uh, um, no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> There's Craigslist right there. There, there Craigslist. is. And as followers of your Twitter account know, you just started writing a screenplay for a new film, so... Oh, yes, I... You, LTV yeah. the movie, a sequel no. to UHF, what's it going to be? Uh, you know, a new thing? Like my mailman and 80% of the population of greater Los Angeles County, I am writing a screenplay, but that is literally all I can tell you about it. That's it? That's it! Nothing. Stop asking. There's words? That's it. Is there Stop. a person in it? No! Are you the Stop. protagonist? Stop! Do you have to solve a crime? I'm going to leave. Oh, please don't leave. Okay. You're a vampire, you're a sexy vampire. And you win the heart of a young schoolgirl. I'm a sexy vampire. When you got. It. I would absolutely go see that movie. I I, I want to thank you. I mean, this is such a this is such a huge uh, thing for you to be here today. All the AOS AOTS staff were freaking out that you're going to be here. Everyone can follow you. Uh, that's on, right, on that's Twitter, me. and uh, go out and buy the, the Weird Al retrospective right now. But right now, let's all follow at Veronica, who, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is going to flash us. What? What? Whoa! No, but I will tell you about some great new flash games when I attack this. When you get the chance to find some downtime or when you don't want to do work, you know, then check out our first game called Cargo Bridge. This physics-based bridge builder by LimeX Games puts your architectural wits to the test. The object is to construct sturdy bridges with a limited budget so that your workers can bring supplies to the work site. Obviously, you don't want them to plummet to their death, or maybe you do, but you can't help but laugh when it happens. Poor little guys. Swing over to LimeXGames.com for hours of bridge building fun. Hey, if you like strategy games more than puzzle games, then pony up for this intergalactic adventure. The space game Missions is a futuristic RTS that brings you through 21 levels of space station craziness. The primary missions revolve around mining precious minerals and keeping your base of operations safe from waves of enemy ships. As you advance, the missions get harder, and the enemies swarm you like a pack of crazy space wolves. 
wolves in space. Not really wolves. I'm not quite sure what a pack of crazy wolves looks like, but I imagine it's not too pretty. You can try this game out at casualcollective.com. Hey, who needs another defense game for towers when you can play a bloodlusting monster in Trap Master? In this game, you play the role of a giant ravenous monster whose only objective in life is to protect his doom chest from the invading human forces. As you fight your way through 30 waves of mayhem, there are plenty of traps you can place to thwart the onslaught of angry villagers with their pitchforks and stuff. Each kill earns you money to purchase more traps or upgrade the stuff you already have, including your lovely monster. Nothing like the massacre of angry peasants to keep your day going. Go to king.com to let the bloodbath and beyond begin. And finally, if you're looking for a good old classic shooter and long for the days of vector shapes, then our last game, Vector Conflict, The Siege, is right up your alley. Your goal is to protect your ass from hordes of low polygon enemies. Your opponents will come at you from every direction, so it takes quick turret turns and fast moving to stay alive. You also have a supply of missiles, EMPs, and nukes to aid you on your trap. Then you, you know what is really hitting the fan? Then that's the you know what. I can't say the S word. Go to digyourowngrave.com to start playing. Head over to all the new g4tv.com slash AOTS to gather the info on all these releases and more. Still ahead, it's a human wrecking balls edition of Break Moments and Evolution. <laughs> Coming up on the next AOTS, Felicia Day from the Guild and Dr. Horrible will join me to co-host the show. Interstellar beauty Elise Levesque from Stargate Universe will be here to talk about getting lost in space. And Allison Hayslip goes behind the scenes on the set of Community to get the lowdown on adult education from the exceptionally tall Joel McHale. See it on the next AOTS. We're out at the Beaumont. The show is not even over, and already it's been epic. You're here. Al was here. Oh, God, I love talking to Al. I have, I've been a huge fan of him forever. Yeah. Like, I know all of uh, the Jurassic Park album is amazing. <laughs> yep. Harvey the Wonder Hamster, I kind of know it by heart. I kind of feel bad saying that. I miss it's Al TV. a little bit. Yeah, Al TV was G4 great. G4 executives, we need to bring back Al TV yeah. if that's possible. Yeah. One day of Al TV on G4. Bring it back. And, and if there's really a UHF sequel... My brain is just going to... I would evacuate the contents explode. of my stomach immediately if, if he was like, new UHF! And I'd be like, whoa! Whee! And then it'd be really embarrassing. I'd be like, what's that smell? Oh, Chris Hardwick. It's just Chris. Yeah. Don't now, worry about it. Now, guys, for thousands of years, man has sought to destroy large objects with his bare hands. Sometimes it works out, sometimes not so much. Here's a Human Wrecking Balls edition of Break Moments. With my face. Nice. Yeah, it's the plate of the head. Not the money maker. Yeah. Oh, not the face, not the, the face. face. Now, guys, as we all know, emo kids are good for pretty much one thing. Go crying. Oh. So you can probably guess the outcome when one of them breaks their tailbone. Oh. Oh. Wow. What, that was pretty. what part of someone's brain says, this is a good idea? I don't know. I, I like the sort of Hasid emo thing that he had uh, going there. Oh, I think I dated that guy in college. Oh, did you date yeah. that guy in college? Yeah. Back in Boston, that's, that guy? That's why he's all emo now. Uh, like, broke his little heart. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, broke my coccyx, whatever. Uh, this week's rating, rating system is, you guessed it, Veronica, balls. Balls? Uh, balls? Wrecking balls. Uh, Not, yeah, right. wrecking balls. Right. Yeah. So, how many are we giving this guy? Uh, one out of five. I hate emo kids. Sorry, hate them. Hate them. I just wanna, I just wanna rip off their dyed little hair and pull off that hot topic shirt. I'm like, get a real shirt. I don't know. You, know? you have, you've got the fancy like faux hawk. Shut shirt. up! What are you talking about? Um, I don't want to make you sensitive no, about it. No, I don't. I'm not trying to look a lot younger than I am with strategically disheveled hair. <laughs> Works for you. All right, Thanks. well, typically guitars are used for, oh, I don't know, playing music. But did you know you can also use them to bludgeon your friends in the back of the skull? This is the stupidest oh, shit ever. Morning. You're going. Oh, no. Ready? I right, one. Oh. Two. No. Oh! <laughs> I love how the girl watching and, and videotaping is just like, oh my god, are you 
guys. We're totally gonna, this is a really great idea. I'm just going to stand here and not try to like prevent my friend from getting hit over the head. I'm sorry to bring up a little bit of history here, but when I worked on a show called Shipmates, a girl attacked a guy with a knife, and the camera crew just stood there and filmed the whole thing. Like, yeah, we got to get this. we got to get this. Oh, humanity. So, uh, Veronica, I, I'm sorry to ask you this question, but how many balls are we going to give this gentleman? How many balls? I'm going to say... Three out of five. Three out of five balls. Three out of five balls. Not a bad rating. It's about a Thanks. C. It's about a C for balls. And finally, here's a true American. That's right, apostrophe American. American. Showing off his best forehead bottle break. Warning: This next clip contains a potent dose of redneck. I ain't doing it again. I'll do it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I'll try that at home. That's redneck right there. <laughs> Two. Little stitches. Oh. Six. Oh. Yeah, that, that's redneck right there. So what, what exactly just happens? That's the redneck. The redness is coming from the blood pouring out of his skull. That's why. That's why he's. If you break a bottle on your head and put it on break.com, he got her done. You might be a redneck. <laughs> he got her done. He did. So, how many balls have we given him? Uh, well. That's redneck right there. That was pretty good. Uh, the, the, the face gash was pretty awesome. Oh. He was still trying to be proud of it because rednecks are proud of anything no matter what it is. I can't read! All right! You know, like that's they get excited about whatever. Uh, I got to go five out of five, right? Five out of five. Five out of five. He tried really hard. He did try he really, really hard. I, you got to give it to him. He went for that it. That was that guy's job. Like, that's what he does uh, in life. Now, I would like to tell you that no one was harmed in the making of these videos, but that would be a lie. That's definitely a lie. <laughs> On the plus side, we're pretty sure no one died, at least, that we know of, anyhow. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> now, for all the things you saw today and more, go to the all-new G4TV.com slash AOTS. Can I just take an awesome minute to thank Veronica Belmont yeah! for being here? Oh, my God. You're the best. At last. It was so much fun. You were amazing. Thank you. Can we hug it out no. really quickly? Okay, no. you're not going to do the creepy thing again, are no, you? No, I'm not going to do the creepy thing again. Okay. I just want to smell and stroke your hair. Oh. Listen, where where can people see you uh, outside of uh, this hosting this program today? Well, I am on Twitter. Uh, Veronica on Twitter. I got in mm -hmm. early. Got yep. the Veronica name. Good for you. Uh, my blog is veronicabelmont.com. Right. And for video-wise, you can see me on Texilla on revision3.com and Core on the PlayStation Network. Which are both awesome. Thank you. I love you on Texilla. That's awesome. Also, uh, Weird Al Yankovic was here today. Yeah. Awesome. His best, wasn't he great? Yes. Again, the best of best of album is out right now. We're gonna see you guys later on. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Good night. Bye today.